Hey guys, and welcome back to this Chelsea FIFA 19 career mode. Huge game to kick this one off. Barcelona at home, second leg in the Champions League round of 16. We, of course, got the 2-0 win away from home. Not with a new cam, unfortunately, because it's not on the game. That's uh, Barcelona are uh, exclusive to Pez, but I'm very confident in going through. All we need to do is not concede early. I'm going to put a strong team out, of course, and hopefully we can get the job done. Icardi and Mbappe are on the Premier League prior of the month for February shortlist. That should be announced very soon. Hopefully one of those boys can pick it up. But more importantly, let's get ourselves through to the quarterfinal of Europe's biggest club competition. So here we go. Under the lights, at the bridge. Games do not come much bigger than this. We've taken on Barca earlier in the competition than I would have liked to. You'd expect to get Barca in maybe the semi-final or even the final if you make it through. But we've got to do the job early on. You can hear the fans getting behind us already before this game's even begun. Familiar formation, the big names, Morata, Barkley and Christensen getting a start. Big names is in their positions that, you know, it's not confirmed who's going to play there. But they get the nod today. Looking at this Barca side, very, very scary. Hamsik though, captain, didn't see that coming. Decent bench with Kieran Trippier on there. But they're lining up 4-3-3. They know they've got to attack and Fakir is leading the front line for them. Just don't concede early, and I believe we will be absolutely fine. Kovacic into Barkley, Morata. An early goal would really put the cat amongst the pigeons. We could get one here. Alvaro Morata is in, and Alvaro Morata tucks it into the bottom corner. That is a dream start. Three goals on aggregate. Barcelona need three goals now if they're going to get anything out of this tie. I could not have wished for a better start. Literally played it from kickoff. Morata done well to hold off the defender in the finish. Absolutely top-notch. Oh, that's a great ball out wide. Here is Messi. Christensen goes across. Bang. Have a bit of that, Messi. And he stayed down. That was not my intention. Don't want to injure anybody. He looks as though he'll be okay. But we've got to get stuck in on him. Give him no space and give him some of that treatment here that is going to stop him from playing his natural game. Let's face it. I don't want to be that team, you know, like that goes out just to smash the opposition players. But it would definitely help us more than Barcelona if this was a physical battle on this pitch. Keeping the ball nicely as well. Barkley's pulled away into some space. So is Mbappe. What is going on here? 11 minutes, 30 seconds on the clock. Chelsea 2, Barca nil, And surely now, surely now, already, the tie is done. If we concede four goals in this game, we do not deserve to be Champions League quarter-finalists. I'm trying to stay calm because there is still such a long way to go. Messi turning. Let's get him again. Love that. That's our ball. No, no, it's not. Oh, I've been skinned by a throw-in. Messi, nice touch. Tempted to smash him, but I'll definitely get sent off if I go in for the tackle there. Barca working it well. Kovacic gets a knee in there, though, and we're able to break. And this is where we look dangerous. Morata peeling away. He's got Mbappe to his right here. Ross Barkley picked him out ages ago. Mbappe, why are they backing away? So Stegen is keeping Barcelona in this tie. Just. Just. Hamšík, the captain for Barca today. Messi's making a run. Messi's in space. Instead, they work it the other side to Philippe Coutinho. He's turning me around. I don't want to just chase Barcelona because that's playing into their hands. They're drawing us out, creating space in behind. Here's Vidal into Messi. Ooh, he's gone for the spectacular and made himself look like an absolute muppet. And he knows it. Barkley. Mbappe. Nice back heel. We're moving it really sharp. Morata has been out-muscled. Now Barca's turn to move it sharp. Hamšík to the right. Semedo onto the danger man. Messi. Great ball that is. It's headed down. Good build-up play. Stopped by N'Golo Kante, but the ref's given a free kick. Really? If anything comes to this, it's messy. So something could... Good save from Kepa. I would have been livid. Looking up. Seeing the run of Alvaro Morata. Surely Testegan's going to come for that. That was risky, weren't it? That pass. That pass they played. If Morata had got his toe to that, we would have been in. He'd have probably missed, though. It's Morata after all. Here's Messi. Messi turns. Oh, no, 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 no. Rudiger, good interception. And clear it. I don't want to smack it away because that's a waste, but that's a risk. And now we do get it clear. Luckily, nothing came of that. And Barkley's got space to drive into. What do we do here? I haven't really got any support. Morata looks for Kante. What a terrible pass. But Morata gets it back. Barkley's in a bit of space. Barkley lays it off. Aspi. Goal now would really seal the deal before half time. Aspi cuts it back. Mbappe lays it off. Touch and hit from Barkley. I think he actually hit that first time. Kovacic, oh, he's gone in for the tackle. Mistimed it. Barca coming forward. An early goal in the second half could give them hope, but they're not going to get it with finishing like that. Here is Mbappe in the middle of the park. 
Space to run into. Hazard has overtaken him. Hazard onside. There's a man coming in at the back stick. I think it's Kovacic. Can we pick him out? Oh, no. Not quite. Nearly. Kante will pick up the loose ball, though. And Barkley is trying to show Messi how it's done. But he couldn't even do a little chip up. It was not the time and the place to give that a go. I'll tell you what. Barca could attack from that. What a tackle. Perfect. How close was that to going in, by the way? Dembele, he's just come on for Coutinho. Driving down the left. Cross comes in. Don't give Messi that time of space. What a save from uh, from Kepa. Great reaction stop. Hit that really well, Messi. Fantastic technique on his strongest left foot. Look at that. Still, I can't see us conceding four goals in less than half hour. Even if it is against Barcelona. I just cannot see it happening. We've been comfortable until... I start to make silly mistakes. Rudiger giving chase with Messi. Messi somehow got the cross in. It's head of the way. Lovely touch from Kovacic. Now we need runners. And there is one in Mbappe. If Morata can pick him out, Mbappe can seal the deal. Oh, it's Jordi Alba. Mbappe turns back. Going to lay it off. First time hit from Kovacic. He tried to place it. Probably not the best move. Straight down the throat of Testegen. But 15 minutes to go with 15 minutes away from surely what is a place in the Champions League quarter-final. Barcelona not really giving us a test. They are coming forward in spurts, but easy to defend. Mbappe cuts inside. Got Morata up there with him. Morata to Barkley to Mbappe. Oh, it's not going to find him. It might do. What was that touch? That was like knee shin toe. Get up, Rudiger. Love that, mate. Here's Kante. Got players up with him. He looks for Barkley. Barkley looks to poke it through. Alvaro Morata, who got us on our way. Couldn't get on the end of it, but... We are into the last two minutes of added time. Stoppage time, guys. It's stoppage time. Just waiting for the final whistle. Ref could put us out of our misery, even though there are no misery here from a Chelsea point of view. Barcelona can hang their heads in shame. It looks like they're going to be beaten 2-0 in both legs without really... I mean, Kepa had a great first leg, if you remember. Man of the match performance. And he's done well here again today. Made a couple of crucial saves. But we are progressing. And Barcelona, the European giants, are out. Talk about training paying off. Yes, we're focusing heavily on the youngsters, but overall rating of Gracia and Asenjo going up, maybe we can get them both involved in some Premier League games very, very soon. Maybe the next one. So the question that they normally ask, if they're a good team, can they do it on a cold, wet, windy day at Stoke? Well, we're going to find out today. See how Stoke City line up. Jack Butland in goal. Very decent keeper, actually, Jack Butland. Very surprised that he hasn't been signed by one of the bigger clubs. But I think he is quite error-prone, which probably puts a lot of people off. There's our old friend Drinkwater in midfield. They've got some decent players, Stoke, but we should have enough about us to win, even with a rotated team. Not massively rotated, but rotated enough. Ampadu comes in. You've got Jorginho and Kante holding. That's quite strong. And then you've got Asenjo, Mount and hudson Adoy. Three youngsters playing behind Icardi. Mount plays it forward, looking for Icardi. Mount continues his run. Could have played it through. Probably should have. Instead of looked right for Asenjo. That didn't go well. But Jorginho takes over. Oh, that was unlucky. Tried to bend it tops. Didn't quite happen. Oh, that's a good interception from Callum hudson Adoy. He's got a runner up with him. But he's going to look to go on his own, I think. Why did he take that shot with his left? Clearly wanted to bend that with my right foot into that far corner. Stoke coming forward. Alonso's got some defending to do here against Thomas Ince. Hasn't done it. Cross comes in. Head of the way, only as far as the edge of the box. Need to get players back behind the ball here. Still got more defending to do. Cross comes in. Ampadu, right place, right time. Still Stoke come at us, but eventually we're going to get the ball away from danger. They love to put balls into the box, don't they, Stoke? They always have done. Although recently, that was more of the Tony Pulis Stoke, and he hasn't been their manager for a while. So maybe we should give them more credit than that. As Icardi's first touch goes wayward. And Harry Maguire's got some defending to do. Now Ampadu, and they've both passed the test. Mount looks up, looking for Asenjo. Good first touch on the youngsters. He's got the strength and pace to get there. He's going to cut back onto his left foot. He looks to bend it. Ooh, it was a bit tame. Maguire with a winner. Mason Mount. Finds Icardi. Icardi turns. Finesses it. Oh, it's fallen back to Mount, who is offside, clearly. Get up, get up. Ah. Ball has dropped loose. What a hit. What a hit. That's the closest we've come to a goal so far. I say we as in this game because it was the home side that very nearly took the lead despite our domination. Got to be wary. Teams in the Premier League will punish you. We've said that before. But now we're going up the other end. Here's Mason Mount. Can he slide it through? Icardi looked to find Hudson. A door he couldn't. And then hits the shot as the ball falls back to his feet. And we do go up the other end 
and we do take the lead. That's pretty harsh on Stoke. They just had their best attack of the game and they find themselves one down. Huge hint of good fortune there as well. Look, tackle come there. The ball dropped loose. He's just hit it out of absolutely nowhere. Big winner needed. Jorginho provides that big winner. Here's Asenjo. Wins a free kick. And this is kind of Marcus Alonso territory on that left foot of his. I'm going to try and whip it up down around the wall. That's terrible. That was my fault. Stoke coming forward then. It's off the ball challenge. Ref plays advantage and it's worked in our favour because there is no advantage. Stoke gave the ball away. So Kepa looks to pick someone out. Oh, Senjo's kept it in nicely. Munier making a run. Now Senjo. Could he be found? Yep, and he skips inside his man as well. No pace or stamina, but he lays it off to Mason Mount. Mount on his right foot. Oh, that's unfortunate. Senjo. Mount. Can say. Mount. Oh, they've given the ball away, Stoke. Here is Asenjo. Good footwork. Cuts back onto his left. Oh, it's the second time that's happened that we've gone to shoot. And they've just stabbed the ball away from us. Let's hit one with Jorginho. No, that was not a bad effort, actually. I do love a good long shot. Here's Mason Mount. These three youngsters have not been too bad today, actually. It hasn't been the most vintage Chelsea display. As Mount hits a fierce drive that's blocked. But they've played all right when, when called upon. They've held their own in the Premier League. And that is sort of what you need to ask for these youngsters. I think Mount... And Hudson Odoi are obviously better than Asenjo, and their rating shows that, you know. But let's get this man more involved. Cardi Mount goes on. If that had got through, we'd have been in. Stoke City outnumbering us here, and there's only one goal in it. Kepa thought about coming, he's changed his mind. Cross could come in. Kepa, oh, he's done brilliantly. Just to tip that away from the attacker that was coming in at the back stick, and then we can hoof the ball away. And that is the worst dive I've ever seen by Cardi, by the way. Once again, the home side coming forward. Defending to be done. Harry Maguire doesn't do it and they hit the post again. I think Kepa might have got a fingertip to that. But Stoke piling on the pressure. Waiting for some subs to be made. We've got Zaha and Vadio coming on. The two of the young players as the shot comes in. If they had squared that, would have been in big trouble there. Still 1-0. 12 minutes remaining. Check out the new haircut for Wilfie. We love that, don't we? Little man bun that he's got going on. Not a fan of the haircut, but it suits Wilfie. Here's Hudson Adoit. Out to Alonso. Three minutes to go. Can he whip a decent ball in? He can. Vadio was heading. Or was trying to head it even. But uh, it was cleared away before it got there. But two minutes left. And they've given us the ball back. Cheers, Stoke. That's an adoy. Alonso. Kante's there lurking on the edge of the box. Could he seal the game? Yes, he can. What a brilliant finish from Angolo Kante. Doesn't score many. But when he does, they tend to be quite special in this series. And that is another one. Game set and match Chelsea. Stoke gave the ball away cheaply. We moved it quickly. The touch to set himself was great. So was that finish. So composed. Yeah. And there you go. Full time whistle. Just like that. Stoke nil. Chelsea 2. Fans had a bit of a weird reaction at the end. That travelling support. Just clapping. I feel like our performance warranted a bit more than that. But we got the win. Players are happy. What more do we need? Premier League table. 10 games to go. 11 points is still the gap. City 4 points away from United. Spurs in 4th. They are way behind the Manchester clubs. So it's looking very, very good for us and them if their goal was just to get into the top four. We've got a uh, FA Cup game next. Aston Villa are the team that we're going to be taking on. You can see they're struggling in the league down in the relegation zone with the likes of Bournemouth and Brighton. But like I said, guys, 10 games to go. The title is ours to lose. And obviously, we're defending our own title. So it'd be great to win it back to back. But that's going to be the end of this one. Drop a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I'll see you guys in the next one.